Well, Jared, thank you so much for joining us today. You talked about being a heavyweight previously in mm -hmm. your career. You went from heavyweight to light heavyweight to middleweight. Do you identify, when you think about yourself, do you still identify as that guy who was a heavyweight? Do you look back at your time as a heavyweight and go, oh my God, what was I thinking? Like, where are you when you kind of look back at those times in these different weight classes? When I look back, I'm like, yep, that was me. <laughs> Fat and happy, eating everything from anywhere, you know? Undisciplined and, you know, <laughs> so. But fearless, nonetheless, you know? But uh, I knew I was never a natural heavyweight. So it was just consequential, you know? It just <laughs> happened. Whenever I got into MMA, I just happened to be <laughs> pretty big. Uh, yeah, when I look back, especially as in my UFC career as a heavyweight, it's pretty comical if you ask me. You know, my first fight, which wasn't funny, you know, I lost, but uh, it was still good to get my toes wet, if you will. And my second fight was was pretty interesting. It was the first fight they had in Croatia, and that was fun to go all, go all the way over there and get the win, get my first UFC win there. Oh, huge left hand for Cannoneer. Oh, Asker's not going to survive this. The killer gorilla, Jared Cannoneer. Interestingly, that card had like three other heavyweight fight, fights on that card. So, and it was me and Cyril Asker. It was Francis Ngannou, Curtis Blades, Derek Lewis, Gabriel Gonzaga, Ben Rothwell, and Junior Dos Santos. Quite so, the lineup. Yeah, <laughs> and all of them towered over me. You know, not only were they towering over me, but they filled in, you know, they were filled, yeah, they were big. <laughs> so, um, seeing all those heavyweights in person, sort of put it into perspective, if you will. If I want to be smart about my career and really pursue this, I got to be smart about it. And uh, going in there without a six pack, you know what I'm saying, rippling muscles and <laughs> as much of an advantage as I can have without uh, cheating myself or cheating my opponent. And um, I should be I should be doing that. So that incorporated dieting, working out more than once a day, you know, for four hours long, you know, being more smart, being smarter about my exercise regimen. So it just had to happen. So me, me and the wife, we uh, buckled down. We came up with a better way to eat, a better way to live too, you know, that comes along with a cleaner diet. And we're we're accountable for ourselves more. So we did it, we got the weight off. It was a lot of work, you know, a lot of sweat. Yeah. <laughs> I had bought my own Aerodyne bike and I tortured myself for an hour every morning before I went to work for 10 hours, before I went to train for five hours. So um, it was good and it was work that I, I was proud to do. Yeah, be, I mean to go from heavyweight to light, heavyweight to middleweight, did you have like a Goldilocks moment when you went to 185? Did you feel like, okay, this is just right? Like, this is where I'm supposed to be. No, because I don't like to put myself in boxes. Oh, oh big knockout right for Cannoneer! Oh my goodness, Cannoneer hits hard. Oh, that's it, Jared that's it. Cannoneer wow. has done it! Whoa! Welcome to the middleweight top 10, Jared Cannoneer. While the drop to 205 was a conscious effort. This is a bad place to be now. It's Cannoneer elbows. The referee looking close. He's got to stop it, and he does. The drop to 185 was more of a consequential effort. So um, it was just a no-brainer. Oh, that was a good uppercut. He said he has concussive ground and bounce. Oh! And that's it! Wow! Jared Cannoneer gets it done! A middleweight on the rise is Jared Cannoneer. And I've always told myself, if it's the easy cut, I'll do it. If it's going to be a hard cut, I'm not going to do it. So my body has sort of settled here at uh, 185. It may be stuck here, who knows? Maybe I'll change my workout regimen. Maybe 170 will be in my future. Maybe I'll win the title at 185 and do the whole double champ thing, right? And do the whole, maybe do the triple champ, go back up to heavyweight, revisit the old uh, weight divisions and uh, reintroduce myself, you know? I love that. Yeah, with a six pack this time. <laughs> <laughs> I love that idea. Yeah.